Hello everybody, it's me, Princess Rapunzel. I hope you've been having a super good week. And I wanted to see if you wanted to color with me. And while we color, I could read this story. So grab your coloring books, flip to your favorite page, and we can color together. Okay everyone, have you flipped to your favorite coloring page? I picked this one. This is a picture of me when I was just a little girl, looking at the lanterns glowing high in the sky. Let's start coloring my hair. I'm going to go with this nice golden yellow. Look how bright it is. Now that we're all settled in, I think I'm going to tell us a story. Once upon a time, there was a kingdom ruled by a kind king and queen. They were happy until the queen became very sick. Right away, the king sent his guards to dig up a magical flower with healing powers. Unfortunately, the flower belonged to a wicked woman named Mother Gothel, who was furious to lose her precious flower. And so, when the king and queen had a baby, she stole the child away. What a witch! Mother Gothel hid the girl, that's me, Rapunzel, in a tower. It turned out that my long hair had the same healing powers as the flower. Mother Gothel used my hair to stay young and told me that she was my mother, even though lying is wrong. Each year on their lost daughter's birthday, the king and queen sent lanterns into the night sky. I saw those floating lights from my tower and longed to see them up close, but Mother Gothel always said no. She said it was too dangerous to go outside, when in reality, she just didn't want me to leave and not come back. She wanted to keep me all for herself. I used to have a lot of different nightgowns and would wear different ones on my birthday every year. So I think I'm going to color this one purple. It's my favorite color. But you can color your picture any colors that you want to. This color reminds me of delicious raspberries. Anyway, back to the story. One day, Mother Gothel went away, and a stranger climbed into the tower. Thinking fast, I knocked him out with a frying pan and searched through his bag. Inside, I found a stolen crown. Curious, I tried it on. It was just so pretty and sparkly, I just had to try it on. The stranger, Flynn Ryder, was a thief on the run but I saw it as my chance to see the floating lights. I offered him a deal. If Flynn helped me, I would give him back the crown. Flynn did not want to go to the city. He was hiding from the Stabbington brothers, two thieves he had worked with, as well as the palace guards, but he could not say no. Reluctantly, Flynn climbed down the tower while I used my hair to lower myself to the ground. To me, finally being outside in the world was like a dream come true. I had never run through grass before, or climbed a tree, or sat in a field of flowers. Still, I was pretty nervous. Mother Gothel had always told me that the outside world was scary. And Mother Gothel wouldn't lie, would she? Sorry if everything looks a little bit wobbly. I'm having Pascal hold the camera and he's not very good at it. As I was saying, Flynn tried to scare me into returning home, so he took me to the scariest place he knew, the Snuggly Duckling, a tavern full of thugs. But when I sang about my dream of seeing the lanterns, we all became friends. They even told me about all the dreams that they had, about being a florist or playing a piano. They all had their own dreams, and so do you. The thugs even showed me and Flynn a secret way out of the tavern before the palace guards could catch us. As we fled, Flynn hurt his hand. Then I put my hair around it, and his wound was healed. Flynn was amazed, so I explained all about my magical hair, telling him that I can heal things and make things grow. But once it's cut, I told him, it loses its power. Meanwhile, Mother Gothel had discovered that I was gone, a 
and began to search for me. Some people aren't really good at coloring inside the lines, but if you take your time and you go nice and slow, you can do a pretty good job. A trick that I use when I'm trying to color in big spaces is I start to color really carefully around the edges, and then I can just go nuts coloring the whole rest of it really easy. Anyway, back to the story. The next morning was my birthday. Flynn led me to town, which was just as wonderful as the woods. Me and Flynn danced and ate cake. There were even some kids who braided my long, long hair and put flowers in it. And then we took a boat ride to watch the lanterns from the harbor. Finally, I would get to see all of the floating lights that I would see from my tower on my birthday every year, in person. Twilight came and glowing lanterns filled the sky. I have something for you too, I told Flynn gratefully. I handed him the crown and Flynn knew what he had to do. Flynn went ashore and tried to give the crown to the Stabbington brothers, but the thieves knocked him out. Then they found me and told me that Flynn had traded the crown to them for me. No, I cried. I tried to run away, but I couldn't. Suddenly, Mother Gothel rushed and saved me from the thieves. I didn't know that Mother Gothel had told the brothers to capture me on purpose. Mother Gothel took me back to the tower, but I kept thinking about everything that I saw. Suddenly, all the pieces fell into place. I'm the lost princess, I finally realized. Instantly, Mother Gothel stopped pretending to be nice. She tied me up, and then when Flynn came to try to save me, she attacked him. Flynn was hurt, and I knew that I could heal him with my hair. I'll stay with you, I promised Mother Gothel. Just let me save him. Swear it, said Mother Gothel, and I did. The thing I love about coloring is that you can really make it anything that you want it to be. Now, I know that I always was painting the walls when I was in my tower, so I want to color the top parts of this different colors. Back to the story. Flynn refused to let Mother Gothel win. As soon as I came near him, he sliced off my hair with a shard of glass. Quickly, my hair turned brown, and Mother Gothel began to grow older and older before our eyes, until she finally turned to dust. Mother Gothel was gone, but Flynn still wasn't healed, and I no longer had magic hair. A single tear fell from my face. An instant later, Flynn's eyes opened. The magic in my tear had saved his life. Overjoyed, me and Flynn went to the palace where I was welcomed back by my real parents, the king and queen. They were overjoyed to have their darling daughter back after so many years. And though my hair was no longer magical, Flynn said that I was still the most enchanting girl that he had ever met. It was so nice to be reunited with my family and that Flynn was okay. And so we all lived happily ever after and celebrated in the palace together. I loved coloring with you and telling you that story. I really hope you enjoyed it. And I like how my picture turned out. I'd like to see the pictures that you colored in the comments. And don't worry if you don't think that you are the most expert colorer, because all art is good art and it makes it special because you made it. So let me know if you want to color with me again soon. And until then, I'll see you next time.